Hello guys, this video is about drawing ER diagram in Google Docs. So as you can see, this is a diagram that is available in Google Docs uh, that you can see in my previous video. So for ER diagram, you can either use images that you can get on the internet or from some other project. But if you use image, then the problem is if you zoom, if you zoom in or zoom out, that becomes a little problem problematic the quality of the image degrades a lot but if you use google docs and draw a new er diagram here then you can zoom in and zoom out easily plus you can make any kind of edits in future if your diagram is not final yet then you can easily update the diagram but if you use image then that becomes a little difficult so i'll show you step by step how to draw the ER diagram first step is going to insert and you can go to a drawing and you can draw a new image so here you can find the shapes click on shapes shapes for entity we will use rectangle i'll click i clicked on rectangle i'll bring my mouse here and drag this becomes an entity let me make it this big so inside this i can write name of name of the entity and i will centralize it from here and similarly i will create another entity program and for that either i can go here again to shapes and bring one rectangle or i can directly copy and paste it because i have formatted according to my need so to copy paste if you click here then your text editor will be enabled and you won't be able to copy if i copy it here and paste it here it won't work but if i click on border side on the corners of this entity then if i do a control c now and control v then i get a copy of this entity now i can use my mouse to drag it here and i can click or double click here and change it to program okay so here I have created two entities now we have to draw for attributes and relationship let me draw the relationship first let me bring it here if this if you see this red line that means they are aligned in the same position so I, I'll keep it here and I'll insert a new shape shapes I'll insert a diamond I clicked on diamond I dragged my mouse here and as you can see on the right side there are two blue colored lines that means now it's perfectly aligned you don't have to align it perfectly all the time actually if your diagram is complex then this kind of alignment becomes kind of very difficult after a certain time but since i am drawing only two entities right now i am doing this so here i can put it here and inside this uh, for example department runs programs so as you can see after i write my text here this comes to next line so this is a common problem while drawing er diagrams and you have two solutions for this either you can enlarge this diamond this is also possible but this is not possible in all the scenarios second option could be reducing, reducing the font size if 
5 make it 11 pixel then it aligns correctly or better than these two options is a third option that I will show you instead of runs for example if it was uh, a longer word for example if it was runs it then again it comes to next line so to solve this problem what you can do is you can use text another text box so i will delete this part here here and i will insert a text box and i will keep it like this this is what i generally do in my ER diagrams now uh, i can run them or something like just showing some long word so if you align it you, you have to click on the uh, corners of this text box and you can also drag and drop them to align them correctly so if you go to one of the corners then your movable this this cursor you can see that means this box is now movable if i hover over it and click on it now i can move it here and there so this is very useful for attributes and relationships okay something like this i hope you got the idea and even if this does not work then you can still make it slightly smaller okay so after this is line i'll start from here and i'll bring it here again this line i can copy and paste and and i can drag it here or i can draw another line that's the same thing so you can work a little more to align if you are seeing extra dot then you can work a little more there so these these are for entities and relationships and after this is our attributes again shape this oval and here i draw it something like this again in shapes uh, sorry again in attributes you get similar problems for example department name see again this problem is coming if you try to write inside this shape because there is some extra padding here as you can see it's very difficult to align these words correctly so i i will cut this text here control x and i will insert a text box from here to here and i will do a control v and i will drag it little further to bring it like this okay so now we are done with one entity uh, sorry one attribute again for another attribute you can either do the repeat the same process or what is better is i usually i usually select this text box and i press control and i click on the outer box let me do it once again so as you can see with the help of control key i have selected both these shapes at once now if i copy and paste i can get copy of both of these so if i drag and drag it here and drop it somewhere else i get both of them together and i can edit another one here department id or some other attribute and here you can this since this is the primary key you can put an underline here for this one I, I have selected this and I can either click on this button or I can uh, or I can press directly control plus U and I'll get an underline so even uh, you can align them even further till the point of your satisfaction or depending on how much time you have 
so again for the line i can either copy control c control v and drag it here and click on the end of it and position them as per my requirement or i can insert new line and pull it here uh i hope you got the idea uh this much is fine if you want to make it slightly better what i have done here is as you can see i have colored them differently i have used uh, uh, light yellow for relationship and uh, light blue for entity and white background for attributes why i have done that is it is slightly easier to read your er diagram while while viewing viewing the soft copy though in the print out you won't get that color because most probably you are going to print it uh, on black and white ink so, but still this can be useful if someone is reading the soft copy of it so what i generally do is uh, i also color them differently um, let me make this make the entities light red so i click on this and i go to this fill color and i click on this light red again for this one fill color light red and for relationships fill color let let's say light yellow and for attributes fill color light green or any other color of your choice so if you do like this this is uh, good to read in your soft copy i hope you got the idea and you can easily continue uh, now save and close and you get this here so now if you want to make any changes again just click on here and double click or click on this edit button here at the bottom or you can directly double click and this box will open again and you can if you want to move all of them if you want to make some space for putting some other entity on the left side then you can control everything uh, uh, cop, uh, sorry select everything by dragging your mouse and now everything is selected or you can also press control a to select everything and if you see this cursor here that means this these shapes are movable now i can drag them to the right side according to my requirement and if i want to draw another entity here again i can either copy this and paste it and drag or i can insert a new shape so in this one let's say this is another entity student or lecturer or any other entity now you can again repeat the same process i will again save and close from here if you want to make a copy of it you can i select it like this by clicking on it and control c and let me go to another page and control v now i have two copies of the same in case you need copy you generally won't need so this is one way of doing it another way slightly different one is very similar that is let me show you let me go to next page and i'll go to file and instead of inserting the drawing here i can draw it in a new document and import that document here let me show you file new drawing now this will open a new document let me call it er diagram 1 and here i can repeat the same process shapes go to shapes and whatever you you have drawn there you can draw it here everything and this makes the process slightly easier that that is why that is the reason i am showing you this process 
now this is a new document here yeah, diagram one if i go to my previous document what i can do is since i have created one insert drawing instead of new and going to this one what i can do is insert drawing from drive and this will show me this diagram here and i can click on this and select it and i can either link to the source or insert unlinked i'll tell you the difference if you link it to the source then you can go to the original document the do drawing document and make any changes and those changes will be reflected in this document the document where you are inserting it if you insert it unlinked then they are now two different documents if you make changes in the original document they will not be reflected here so my suggestion is to use this link to the source and insert now if you go to the original document and if you make any changes let's say you created another entity program and if you go to this document where you have linked it you can see it is showing only department but here you can see a refresh button update button if you click on this then those changes will be reflected here so this is a better way of doing it and it has more options and this give you a complete document um, a more space where you can draw your diagrams easily so i hope you i hope this video is going to help you Thank you for watching the video.